Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Mariam and in this channel I talk about my journey as an international medical graduate in the UK. Today I'm going to talk about clinical attachment. I might refer to my laptop from time to time because I've written down some scribbles that might help. So what is clinical attachment? So clinical attachment is an honorary post that allows you observe and gain experience even without being GMC registered. It can be from one week to 18 months. So there are several benefits of doing a clinical attachment. First of all, the experience is priceless. You've been trying so much to get into the NHS, but it's all new. You don't want to end up wandering around understanding zero of the logistics of the system of your, in your first few days. The experience will definitely facilitate your flow to the first new NHS job. Some departments are getting clinical attachment applications in order to hire them later if they fulfil their qualifications. Even if not, you can know about their vacancies in their department and build network to get a job interview, which hopefully lead to a job. You can use the experience in your portfolio for specialty training or higher specialty training. Personally, I spent a month in acute medicine as a clinical attachment and ended up talking about that relentlessly in my IMT interview. Last but not least, you can extend your visitor visa up to 18 months with a clinical attachment contract. But bear in mind that rules can change and always check the government website for the up-to-date information. So do I have to pay for a clinical attachment? Clinical attachments usually come with a price, which does vary from trust to trust. Important note is that being expensive doesn't make it any better. It's usually around 150 to 300 per contract, although I have seen trust charging 500 pounds per week. <laughs> there are two simple ways to find a clinical attachment. First of all is directly contacting a consultant and the second is enrolling in a defined clinical attachment program. So how to choose what specialty you want to do? You need to learn about the NHS so my recommendation is going for more general specialties like acute medicine, A&E, general surgery. Although you could kill two birds with one stone and going for an attachment in the specialty you would like to train in the future. But again, if you're aiming to start GP, IMT, CSG, A&E, my recommendation is to start with a general medicine or a general ward, general surgery ward. So, the billion dollar question is how to find a consultant's email. Two very simple ways to do that. First of all, Find a consultant email by directly asking your friends who work in a trust so they can provide you with a consultant who are willing to take up people for clinical attachment like I did for my friend or um, randomly ask them if they can provide you with some emails. The second one is just going to the NHS website and exploring the contact details for any job in your desired specialty and trust. It's usually either the consultants or the staffing manager, which either is fine. They, they will refer you to the right person at the end. Uh, so simply open the nhsjobs.com, go to the medical and dental jobs, and then choose the occupation, which is the specialty you want to do. So first we go with the acute medicine, and then the grade really doesn't matter because you just want names and emails. For example, we choose if you want to do it in Cardiff, let's say if there's any job. Oh, there's no job in Cardiff, let, so let's go for somewhere else. Cornwall, yeah, let's see. Well, yes, there's a locum consultant post available in Cardiff, where yeah, in uh, Cornwall, we really don't care if it's a consultant job, whatever job it is. Um, you just want it to be in Cornwall, so you go further down. You don't need any of these information, you just need the name. Then further details and inform informal visit contact, it gives you the name, the clinical lead's name and an email. That's absolutely all you need. Then let's do another specialty. So we go back and we choose the specialty to surgery. Let's find surgery. Yes, here it is. And again, the grade doesn't matter, we change it to London this time. So let's look at the London. Also, of course, London's got many jobs. So based on the location you want to be, you can choose the trust. So there are like many jobs available, as you can see. Um, I'll equip medicine in between these surgery jobs. 
Um, so yeah, let's choose this junior clinical fellow jobs in Lewisham Trust. So it gives you the location, which is Queen Elizabeth Hospital. So if you want to arrange accommodation, you can do that. Scrolling down, you can find again the further details and informal visit contacts, which is again the clinical director, the one you need to contact. You're welcome. That's very easy. So if you want to write an email to a consultant, what should you include in that email? So you need a CV, a CV with bullet points and summarise. It should not be exhaustive at all, otherwise no one will read it. Put down your work experience and the clinical skills you have. Plus, if you have any further qualifications like a master's, a PhD, a special course like an ALS you've done. In the email, clearly mention what stage you are. Did you pass your PLABS? Are you looking for um, jobs at the moment? Are you waiting for your GMC registration? Um, and also mention exactly which month you want to do it, especially if you have a visa restriction. For example, if you've got a visa um, from June to September, always do July or August. Do not put it for June or September because if you want to um, work with a trust it takes time to just roll with the HR because it's literally a contract although honorary but it's a contract so it takes time for everything to process so you just need one month before that and then go for that two months for your clinical attachment and then um, leave that one month if you want to extend your visa or if you want to do anything else um, in that email also explain that you want to gain NHS experience to help you fit in easier with your first job. The final point is not doing a clinical attachment does not mean you cannot find a job in the future. It just makes it easier to find a job when you've done a clinical attachment because it is an NHS experience, although non-paid. Um, and sometimes you need to spend up to 100 emails to get the proper attachment program you like. So do not give up easily. Hope you enjoyed this video. Do subscribe to the channel and tune in for more videos.